Oh, hi everyone. Red Outdoors here. With uh, Thanksgiving being today, Black Friday tomorrow, and then Christmas coming up, I know we've got a lot of shopping to do, so I thought it'd be a good idea to go over my stocking stuff for gift ideas. Uh, I've got different price ranges, anywhere from 99 cents all the way up to, I mean, I think I have a $300 pan mix in here somewhere. So a lot of different price ranges, so let's, let's uh, dig into it and see what we've got. All right, so starting it off, we've got some uh, different fire equipment. So these are fire plugs. Um, I really like these fire plugs. You've seen me use them in just about all of my videos almost, or at least have some. Um, these are great. You can literally douse this bag in water and uh, open these up and pop them open and you can get a fire going. So these are a great stocking stuffer for any survivalist bushcrafter you may have. Um, also, a simple lighter. Just throwing a couple big lighters in there is always going to be uh, a good idea. Uh, we go through lighters a lot. They lose fuel, um, you know, camping, bushcrafting, whatever you're doing. Lighters are always a good idea to have. Again, whether you're doing survival or bushcraft. In conjunction with that lighter, Exotac makes this really cool uh, fire sleeve. I really like this fire sleeve. Um, what it does is it prevents the trigger from being depressed, so it prevents any extra fuel getting out. Um, there's a cap on it, so it's waterproof. Uh, it provides some insulation from, free, uh, from freezing the components and whatnot. And I mean, anybody who has carried BIC for a while knows that they freeze, and as soon as they get wet, they're, they're useless. So this prevents that. It's a great stocking stuffer idea. And then Exotac also makes these tinder zips so these are literally just like zippers for your jackets your backpacks your med kits your edc pouches all those kind of things um, but the core is actually tinder so it's cool for the survivalist or the prepper you know to have just a piece of equipment on them all the time and then also be able to utilize that as a fire source um, or a tinder source. Um, it's water resistant, obviously uh, flammable, and it has everyday applications. So this is a great stocking stuffer. A company I also buy from a lot is Pro Camp Tech. They make these fat rope sticks, fat rope sticks, and then also the um, fast fire stick. So both of these are almost the same concept. One of them is a rope, the other one's basically just compressed um, cotton fibers, but they're both soaked with resin um, and you can cut right off the core, right off the line there. And again, even after them getting wet, you can cut them off and use them as tinder. So these are a great stocking stuffer again for anybody who likes to go bushcrafting, survival, prepper, or um, even just camping. And then you've seen me talk about this thing a lot, the Exotac Nano Strike XL. This is a cool ferro rod, especially great for a stocking stuffer. Price range is gonna be around, oh, I wanna say 40 bucks right around there. It's, it's a good price. Um, I'll put all the links down below for everyone. Um, but you've seen me talk about this one a lot. You've even seen it in some videos. This is great for um, in the pocket, essential bags, EDC packs, fire kits, that kind of thing. And then last in the fire category, we have one of the 16 hour candles. So this is, uh, this is from Exotac as well. It smells like beeswax, but this is a 16 hour candle. It says that it can boil water um, in 18 minutes. I haven't tried that, um, but nevertheless, it is a very cool candle and I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. We also have a um, flint and steel set. So you've got your high carbon steel and your uh, chunk of flint here. Um, this is used for primitive fire making techniques. Um, it's great, it's a good skill to learn. So whether your survivalist has a flint and steel set already or has never tried it, it's still a great stocking stuffer because it is a skill that everybody should have and everybody should get a chance to try out. So this is a great stocking stuffer. Who doesn't love having a fapoon? Uh, I carry one of these in my essentials pack and, and in my backpack. Um, traveling or even again camping or whatnot you get out there and sometimes it's just easier having a utensil rather than making a utensil so I carry a fapoon in a lot of my packs you never know so I was gonna put a, uh, a headlight on this list but I thought about it and I actually use my uh, 
claymore far more often than I use a headlamp. So this is a, um, a light that clips to uh, hat brims. You've got your regular light and then you can go through red light, flood light, also maneuver it. So it has, it has some different functions. Uh, you can also control how bright that is, how dim it is. Um, so I use this 90% of the time. Um, I'm you know, almost always wearing a hat. So a headlamp is a good idea for somebody who maybe doesn't wear hats as much. I wear hats all the time, so headlamps don't really work very well. But this clip, um, hat clip light, works very well. It is rechargeable too, so no battery is necessary. You can just charge it off solar if you want, but I carry this and use this in the truck all the time. So I have this little Olight flashlight. This one, uh, it comes in all sorts of colors, orange, black, tan. I believe you can get it in blue maybe, but for its size, it is, it is very bright. Um, it is rechargeable, which I really like, but this is the brightest keychain light I have personally found. Um, it's been extremely reliable. I've dropped mine, <laughs> well, my entire keys in uh, a river and it still works. So these are very durable. And like I said, they're only, I think like 12 to 15 bucks. So a great price and it doesn't take up any space at all. So I keep mine in my essentials pack. Um, might be something to consider for the stocking. So I have various um, lamps. Uh, one from Olight, one from Black Diamond. These are both really good lamps. I like the Olight's a nice compact size. I like the overall glow of the Black Diamond. You can um, dim the light, you can hang it. These are great for camping. Again, even just sticking in your vehicle um, on the inside or whatnot, survival kit, what have you. But having a little lamp in conjunction with a headlamp and flashlight is always a good idea. Another thing from Night Eyes is this LED glow stick. Um, these are also like two bucks. They're a lot of fun, um, uh, whether it's for kids or even just in the in your vehicle trying to read something or like what I use it for a lot of the time is I'll attach it to Rav, I'll attach it to his collar when I'm camping and so he'll run around and I'll be able to see where he is at all times. Um, so that's a good use for it, but there's tons of other uses for it. Again, whether you're camping, bushcrafting, uh, throw it in a survival kit, it's really light, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. So it's just got something good to add. Glow sticks. So you can get various colors. Um, these last 12 hours, they're great for hiking. You know, you can use them while hiking uh, in an emergency. Um, you can use them even while diving. There's tons of uses for glow sticks uh, and both of these together are like four bucks. So go pick some up and throw them in the stocking. So we'll go in on the preparedness side. Um, I have this Anchor uh, battery charger. I really like this battery charger. It um, is very thin, lightweight. It keeps it charged very well. Um, I carry this in my essentials pack and you know, whether you're in the airport or at a hotel or on a train or, or whatever uh, and you need a quick charge, this is a great option to go with. Like I said, it's very thin. It's easy to carry in your backpack and uh, it holds a charge very well. So for any of those tech fans out there, this is a great option to have as a stocking stuffer. Every survivalist knows how important emergency blankets are. Whether you're caring for a trauma victim or you are out in the elements, having a emergency blanket, mylar blanket, to retain that heat and reflect it back at you, it's gonna be a really essential item for your kit. Everybody should have one of these, well, a few of these, but everybody should have one of these in each of their kits, whether it's, like I said, emergency, survival, rescue, or even a trauma kit, because these are very vital and very important. This one here happens to be a Don't Die in the Woods brand. I like this one a lot because it's more durable than the typical Mylar ones you get in the grocery store. So pick up a couple of these because they're gonna be a little bit more tougher for you and uh, throw them in your guys' kits. Adding a little bit more personal touch to it, I have some custom made uh, stickers. Of course, this is my logo. Um, I work with a company called Sage Pine Creations. Um, they've made these stickers for me. They've also made the decals that I currently have in my truck. And then they're also working on some Christmas tags for me. Um, so they're, you can basically send them any logo, any design, as long as it's not trademarked and they can uh, print it on stickers and send it to you. It's super cheap. Um, 
Uh, again, the, the quality of the sticker is great. Look at the, I mean, the detail is insane. Of course, that's my logos. The detail is insane. So uh, check this company out, Sage and Pine Creations on Instagram. Shoot them a message of what you're thinking and uh, get it before Christmas. Every survivalist and prepper knows that there's a million uses for duct tape. And this brand Ready Tape has made that readily available. Whether you're carrying a toolbox, tackle box, pocket, backpack, EDC, essential skit, whatever, um, having some duct tape is always a good idea. This is, I believe, five, yeah, five yards. You can see how thin that is for five yards. It's, it's a nice compact size. And again, there's a million uses for it. So every survivalist should have some duct tape. This is just a convenient way to carry it. Whether you're making like a mini survival kit or um, you, you have like a map kit or something or on your watch band, these little Sunto compasses are a great addition. Um, they're the most accurate mini compass I have found. Um, I've carried one for many years. I often lose them, so I have kind of a back stock of them for when I lose them. Um, but these are extremely accurate, and anybody who's working on land navigation, whether they're novice, all the way up to expert, should have an extra compass, even a mini one like this, on them at all times. So I like the Sunto. Um, there's a couple others out there, but I highly recommend having a Sunto compass. Here I have one of the Rectac Gear mini EDC pouches. Um, this is cool. This one is black multicam. He has a number of colors and whatnot when they're available. Um, it's just a small everyday pouch. Like you could put your keys in here. I, I carry gum in mine um, just because I don't like walking around with the, the pack of gum, but I like to have gum and mints with me. Um, so I carry gum in mine currently. Um, but there's tons of uses for these little EDC pouches. There's all shapes and all sizes and colors. Um, so any small pouch like this is going to be a great addition to a stocking. Something that I use all the time is these Night Eyes uh, S-Beaners. So I carry these for uh, keys. I use them for sh my shop keys. I use them, you know, for Rad's leash if I have to quickly attach them to something. Um, um, again, I use them in the truck. I use them in the car, around the house. There's so many uses for a carabiner. And these S beaners that lock up are awesome because I don't have to worry about them coming undone. This one is kind of an OD green, so I thought it was cool, but they're only a few bucks, and so they make a great stocking stuffer gift. Another great idea would be a, a set of gloves. So these are just 511 gloves. Um, I go through gloves a lot, but whether they're bushcrafting, survival, prepper, um, hiking, anything in the outdoors, having a good pair of gloves is gonna be uh, essential. This pair does have the wraparound middle and index finger so you can use it um, when, you know, with your smartphones and that kind of stuff. So having a good pair of gloves is always a good idea and I go through them a lot. So I would love getting a pair of these in my stocking. So another good idea would be the Pocket Disaster Survival Guide. Um, it's just a nice small compact book. It goes over anything from uh, tornadoes, emergency food supplies, generator safety. It goes over a lot of just disaster per, uh, preparedness type topics. And you know, in a grid down situation, power outage, whatever uh, the situation may be, uh, you're not gonna have access to Google or YouTube or anything like that. So having something in paper that you could reference is a good idea. So I'd say as a stocking stuffer, this is a win. So if anybody um, has uh, canvas pants, jackets, hats, backpacks, or pouches, anything like that, that would need to be waxed, this Fjall Raven Greenland wax is a, a, a great stocking stuffer. I've actually got it in my stocking probably about two years in a row. Um, it's great for, like I said, Fjall Raven pants, jackets, or even if you just have um, an, an, an old canvas hat, I put it on my backpacks. It's just, it's like a paraffin wax. Um, and it just seals and makes things more waterproof. So this is a good stocking stuffer for somebody like me who lives out in the Pacific Northwest where it rains all the time. Patches. Who doesn't love patches? All shapes, all sizes, all colors and whatnot, all sorts of designs, even an eggnog patch. Um, you can get, whether it's an inside joke or um, you know your favorite mascot or whatnot, you could probably find it in a patch they're pretty cheap and, you know, I store mine on the floorboard of my truck. Um, you can get panels that you can stick them on, all sorts of things. There's tons of reasons to have patches. Like I said, they're pretty cheap too. So you might as well pick up a few and throw them in the stocking. 
Another great stocking stuffer gift idea would be uh, some wool socks. Specifically wool. Anybody who spends time outdoors knows that wool is king, um, especially on your feet. Um, I really like these darn tough. These are just some height trek socks, so they're a little bit lighter, a little bit more breathable, but they still retain heat um, and wick away moisture very well. So anybody who hikes, does bushcraft, goes outside at all, should definitely have a, a few pairs of wool socks. Uh, there's many benefits of wool, and it is a great stocking stuffer idea. It's uh, moisture wicking, thermoregulation, um, antimicrobial. So um, these are just a great addition to any, again, backpacker survivalist uh, kit. So I carry trauma shears in um, just about all of my kits. If it's not a trauma share, it is uh, one of the Benchmade eight hooks or something. Um, but this is just a cheap trauma shear. These are like six or eight bucks. Um, again, I don't do this for a profession or anything. So these will work in the moment because they're nice and sharp. I don't have to worry about, you know, cutting through pennies or anything like that. These will serve my purpose just fine. Okay, nitrile gloves. North American Rescue makes these bear claw gloves. Um, they're 99 cents each, they're super cheap. You can buy a bunch, throw them in your pack. Uh, we all know how important it is to wear gloves when doing any medical uh, situations or anything like that. So stay safe, pick up a few pairs of these gloves and just throw them in the stocking. Israeli bandage. It's gonna be a great addition to any survival kit or trauma kit. There's a lot of brands that make these. Most of them are pretty good. Um, uh, North America Rescue is a great reputable, reputable brand. They make the uh, some six inch, four inch versions of the pad. Um, these are great for any trauma situation. Again, whether you're shooting, uh, recreation, um, hiking, backpacking, that kind of thing. Anytime you're just spending outdoors or even in the workshop, even on your way home from work, um, having medical equipment with you is always a good idea. And these two types of pads are gonna be a great addition to any kit. So Quick Clock makes these impregnated gauze. Um, it is a hemostatic agent. So when used in conjunction with a wound or whatnot, it's gonna help coagulate the blood and stop that flow faster. Um, with a dressing pad like this, um, this is a great combo. Again, you can also use one or the other. I know these quick clot pads can be around 25 all the way up to 35 bucks, so they can get kind of spendy. Uh, where these are gonna be more like 14, 15 bucks. Um, but these two as a set would be a great addition to a trauma kit. Anybody, like I said, who's going outside or doing any sort of recreation is gonna need trauma equipment. And these are a great start. Tourniquets. Tourniquets are a great stocking stuffer. Uh, I've got the SWAT T wide, uh, cat, seven tourniquet or even the sam tourniquet uh, tourniquets are good for anybody who's doing any sort of outdoor activities uh, uh, survival preparation shooting or honestly the everyday whether you come across an accident or whatnot you can use a tourniquet to uh, provide aid to a patient but these are a great addition to have great for the stocking they fit in you can see they can slim down really far and uh, anybody who's in the outdoor industry or shooting industry knows how important these items are and having multiple of these around is always a good idea. So I'd pick up a few different kinds and throw them in the stocking. All right, everyone. Well, that about wraps it up. That's uh, my best ideas for some stocking stuffers and some things that I've got over the years and given over the years. So if you, uh, you go down to the description, I will try and list everything that I've talked about here to today in the description. But if there's anything on this list that you would want to see in your stocking, let me know in the comments below. And until I talk to you guys next time, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Thanksgiving. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Almost done. No, don't buy my sleeve. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay. Really safe bet an alternative. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't like that. Didn't like that. These were like 99 cents a peach. I picked these up for 99 cents a peach. I picked these up for 99 cents a peach. Uh, <laughs> below i will try and leave links for everything in the comments below as well um no description oh yeah yes another great addition would be a uh the pocket uh nope that is not right start it over addition would be the pocket disaster <laughs> the air is spicy Oh. <laughs> it's cursed. Another great addition would be the. <laughs> what? Why are you so stuck?
We'll come back to it. The air is just too spicy. We'll do another one. Item. 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 Item.